So British Open this weekend. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I've not played in a decent sized tournament in a good while, to be fair. So I'm looking forward to it. Preparation's gone okay. Um, I could have practiced a bit more, I suppose, a few weeks ago, but I just didn't have the time. I couldn't find the time. Whereas the last week or, I suppose, two weeks almost, I've been ramping it up a bit and, uh, yeah, getting back to some proper hours. So it, it feels good. Um, it was interesting that I was, I mean... A good few weeks ago, I was averaging like, even in practice games, like 60s, 65s, it was awful. Um, but it was interesting, like, even, you know, this morning, I had a little practice and stuff like that. And last night, I got in really late and then, you know, just thought, I've got to just get on the board, you know, for a couple of hours here and there, just pack it in. Um, and I'm back at 80, 80s to, I mean, 86 this morning in a sort of first to first to six practice match. So um, it was good, you know, um, it was good to get back to a decent standard. But it just always shows me, reminds me that you have to do the serious hard hours practice. Otherwise, you just never can get that standard up, you know. Um, and that technique just goes from you. So I know next time, next time I come up to any sort of event, I'll, I'll get a better period of practice in. But... It's nice to be out to throw some decent darts again um, and take out some checkouts and stuff like that. So, to be honest, I'm just going to try and enjoy the weekend, um, see what see what comes of it, and yeah, hopefully we'll we'll have a, a good little few matches and I'd like to just win a few games. To be honest with you, that's that's my my goal. You know, I'm not going there thinking oh, I'm going to win because I'm rusty in terms of max practice. To be honest, and big tournament practice. So, um, obviously, when I'll get there, I'll, I'll convince myself I'm going to go for it and, and do and beat anyone I can. But you know, being being honest with myself, I, I need that sort of match practice again, getting into the tournament play, um, and yeah, I'll be happy with a good, a decent run. I think, to be honest, um, over the over the couple of days. So, yeah, see what we can do and um, keep you updated. Really, fueled up, ready to go. So here I am in the in the little place I'm standing. It's quite nice in here, to be fair. Nice little. Uh, Pad around the corner from the British Open. Um, Saturday, I think British Classic today, maybe. Um, Want to go one better than last year, but last year I didn't have my darts and my glasses, so hopefully, you know, even though the prep hasn't been the greatest, I'm hoping that we can maybe, uh, yeah, maybe have a little run, win a good few games. My overall thing for the weekend would be to win a good few games and win more than previous year, to be fair. So, um, but yeah, I just want to play well, have a good good few games and uh, see what we can do. So probably the most best view in Britain then, is this one. As you walk up, see that? It's beautiful. Britain is far.
just won a won the first game of the British Open. It weren't easy, to be fair. Um, it was a decent match. I was two 0 down at one point, but <sighs> win. That's all. I, that's all I really want. I wanted to play well. I wouldn't have minded really if I'd lost that game. To be honest, I, I, it's lovely to win, but I wouldn't have. Uh, I couldn't have said much about it. The guy played well. Uh, Mark had a decent player. He, he kept it on me, but come out with some good good shots. He just finished really well, to be fair. So. Yeah, I've got a bit of food, so see what, we, see what we can do in the next one. Keep it going. So dumped out the British Classic. Um, I still played all right, to be fair. Um, got a got a bit of a hiding. I think four 0 I lost that, but it still was a um, decent sort of level, 73 average. Um, the biggest problem I've had um, here is there's no practice board, which I find crazy. Um, what, how do you not have practice boards? Which for me personally, it takes a little while to warm up. Um, so I started playing better on about the fourth, fifth leg. It's already too late by then. But again, same for everyone. So is what it is but no i enjoyed it i'm enjoying him enjoying the uh, the play enjoying the tournament um it's, it's 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 good to get back into it and get the blood pumping really so i'm happy with how i played and, and on to tomorrow really see what we can do so british open today um i'm excited about playing again really in a nice big tournament um i had a thought about a lot of the stuff yesterday last night um played a couple of really decent standard games which is all i really wanted to be honest with you um, I feel like I needed to play at a decent sort of level and you know the guy who I lost to I think Dylan Quinn I think it was uh, he got to the semi-final so for me and playing around sort of I think about the average most of the way through so for me actually I'm not that far away where maybe I was previously with a bit more consistency so but there is still a big gap you know I think which will only come with a good five six months of solid practice and honing the little things I noticed yesterday in the match I wasn't actually following through properly so for me that's a big thing i've got to really work on um just to get that group in you know which is is, is all the differences my cannon was good i realized how much better my chalking's got um even though it's on the ipads it was it was much better so i'm looking forward to british open today hopefully can win a few more games have a little bit of a run under my belt but you know what i'm just enjoying playing decent in a good tournament so see what we can do see how the day pans out Went onto the board, um, didn't play very well, but it's great for a win. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Four, four nil, can't complain. Um, and on to the next one, really. The, the setup could be a lot better at this tournament. I'm not going to lie. Um, there's no real practice boards, and the hockey's are a bit of a tripping hazard. But you know, it is what it is. Um, keep pushing forward. Keep practicing. But the, I will say the practice board thing. The fact there isn't any really. 
it's, it's affected a lot of people's games. Um, you know, so there's people I know going out who are very good players and they're not able to even hit their normal game because they can't practice before they play. So for me, yeah, that is a bit of a problem, but let's hopefully it don't affect me too much in the next one and um, keep pushing forward. Yes, let's get another win if we can. So knocked out of the British Open, last one, two, eight, I think it was. Um, Bit of a winnable game, really. I probably uh, probably should have done a bit better, but it's, it's weird. The throw was there one minute, not there the next. But the, I kind of knew it was going to be a bit like that um, at points, just because of the sort of short preparation I've had coming into it, to be honest. So, but it's weird playing here. The last time I played here was a year or so ago, maybe maybe two years ago. I can't quite remember. Um, and I feel like a different player to then. I just feel like I've had a lot less practice than I did the first time. So what I really need is. Um, not to play in the WDF again. I'm definitely going to go on the Challenge Tour next year. Um, but I do need a very solid period of practice. So I do need a good couple of months at it. Um, you know, four or five months just, just honing the throw. Because when the throw was there, I was hitting 180s, um, hitting 177s, um, taking that doubles nicely. But when it wasn't, just deserted me. You know, I went 2 up in that match. And, and, then, <laughs> and then the throw just deserted me. So which doesn't do any favours. You just start dragging numbers, stuff like that, which we know. But it's all on the practice board. So overall, British Open. Could have done a lot better, but I've learned a lot. Um, I'm a lot better counter than I was before. Still make the odd mistake, but I'm a lot better than I was, you know, a couple of years ago. So moving forward, just know I need to hit the board hard. So looking forward to, to playing at Q School on the Challenge Tour next year. I'm, I'm not going to do any more WDFs because for me, they're for, I'm a heavy practicer. So for me, not doing enough practice on the practice boards beforehand as you're playing and stuff like that doesn't really help the game. So for me, I'm going to stick to what I'm better at. And yeah, goodbye, Bridlington. Thanks for watching.